Hi YouTube, this is Mr. Nomada, and I'm doing a video for Obito oh. Duelist's channel. Uh, I'm the guy who he did the last Medulture deck profile on, and I went ahead back, tweaked it, and made a better version. Last week of the Sneak Peek, I went X2 and oh. made top 8. This week I went X1, made top 8, uh, made the top 4, and then I ended up losing to Bravekeepers that ended up winning because I didn't draw a single monster. Alright, let's get to the deck. Alright, so it's not t there's no TG engine in it now. This is just a deck in progress. Just like Magic Lane. Pure Medulture. Again, because she's a whore. Three dog, because opening dog ticket, dog uh, chateau is really good. Three me fuels, Bogger Knight lets you abuse Mess and Gelato. Whenever you special summon, you add a Medulture Speller Trap from your deck to your hand. That includes Fields card, or uh, ticket, or what's it called? Medulce Fiesta, or whatever it's called. Palooza. Palooza, that's Palooza. it. <laughs> I won one pudding sets because when you're pushing for game, she's actually really broken. Trying to avoid a glare here. Okay, there we oh, go. Okay, there we go. Uh, two gross super maxis. Uh, because maxi is better for my levels. You're using my insector yeah. mat? I didn't know you were using it. Just go. Oh, anyway. Three, three chateau, because it's good. Two ticket, because drawing the third one is dumb and you can't have more than one on the field at a time anyway. Double lance, because I like lancing it. Duality Thanks, for consistency. Rota to search for messing gelato. Uh, double MST. One heavy. One reborn, one dark hole, and then for traps, two bottomless, two D prison, solid brigade, starlight road, and then double new dolce palooza and ultimate offering. This card is actually extremely broken. This is why I quit playing the TG engine and just played more dogs and stuff like that. It wins games. <laughs> you can win so many games with this and get so much more pluses than you can with the TG engine. It's retarded. It's like a worse ultimate offering. It's it can be as bad as ultimate offering. Ultimate offering is in the end better. Yeah. Alright, let's get to the extra deck. Okay. Extra deck. I have a side deck too this time. This is 15 cards, by yes. the way. Yes. I fucked up last time because I was late uh, to the uh, late to the sneak peek because I have Burke. And I was putting the deck together literally the last second. So I just grabbed any like decent staple I could find and just threw it in there. So don't get butt hurt. <laughs> so yeah. So now it's 15. I've, we've gone over it. So, Free time. Double TR Masu, because she's broken as fuck. Usually a plus four, plus five with the ticket. Uh, you abuse her a lot less in this version, but you can abuse her a lot. Uh, one Maestro, because he's good. One Roach, because I don't like Chaos Dragons. Uh, one Utopia, one Pathlobiv, one Shock Master. That's it for Force. One Acid Golem, one Soul of Silver Mountain. Actually, pretty good card. Uh, if you go Cat Cat, you can get him out real easy. One Zen Mains, one Levier, one Tem Tempo, because he's good. Uh, one Levier, one Invoker, not two anymore because you don't have, you don't need to abuse it with the Warwolf, and then one Stardust because I play Starlight Rift. You wanna go over the side deck? Why not? <laughs> side deck. Okay. Can I attack? Sorry if I'm causing Blair. Blair. Two Cybers. One Trag, because I, I wanted to. Two Valor. Third MST. Double Shadow Man. Uh, two Soul Drain. Two Decree and two goes a match. Goes a match because they're all Earth. Yeah. Are, there, are there any combos versus the TG build? Versus the TG? The, um, this one, it's more like everything is searchable with this. Like, this, like, I, I'm just gonna say this. Opening this guy, and this is one of the reasons why I played more of him with these three. So I actually do it the other way. Opening this, bouncing that, getting his effect to search for anything you really need, any monster you want. It's just so good. Uh, and then if you have... This is more towards late game, it's why I only play two. Because when you get late game, once you get control with Ticket and Chateau, you go ahead and activate Palooza and drop four cards out of your hand. Like if you have this guy already up on the field, you go ahead and drop two of these guys. You can search another Palooza, search another Chateau or Ticket. It's really good. Uh, other than that, it's really not more combo heavy, it's just more about control and consistency. This yeah. guy just consi uh, gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually it gets really hard to take control. Uh, and then when you're also pushing for game, if you have like this setup, you overlay, go to Yara Masu. Broken. <laughs> Detach for Tiaramisu. This also works if you have Ultimate Offering. 
But now because you're pl like that, let's say you return these two back to your hand or whatever, and because now you're playing Pudding Sass, and you don't usually have that big of a graveyard. If you do, it's usually an Xyz, and if not, you can just drop Pudding Sass right out of your deck thanks to Ticket because you control the face up tier. Yeah. So. And I've had times where this has pretty much just gotten the game. All right, YouTube. That's the uh, updated Modolce deck profile. Um, I'll post duels of this deck too, so make sure to like. He's gonna, show, he's gonna show me scrub out. Scrub out. Actually, you did. You did almost win a match. You win a game three. <laughs> hey, that Atlantean uh, duel one and two was really fun. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll post that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.